Hey everyone, and in this video, let's answer this really interesting question. Why is my keyboard in the middle of the screen? And that's actually kind of like interesting topic is many people think that it's a bug or something is wrong with their iPad, but it's actually a feature because here you have the handle so you can move around the keyboard. And for example, you hold your iPad like this and you use your thumb to type in. So that's definitely a feature that Apple wants us to use. However, to get rid of this, simply just make it go like this, pinch on it, and the keyboard is now a big irregular one. And this is just how you can get it to work. Well, this is iPad Pro, and on this iPad, these are the only two types that you can use this keyboard. Like, these are the only ways. You can, for example, hold down on this icon, which is the keyboard, which it makes it disappear, so if you tap it, but if you hold down on it, you can see that you can choose a floating keyboard. You can see floating and it just goes like this. You may use the pinch in and out gesture if you want, but you also have the button. However, on the older versions of the iPad, for example, I made a video with my iPad mini, which was like an older generation. I had much more options. I can have like a split keyboard, which I don't have the option to right now. So on the iPad Pro, we have some limited um, possibilities when it comes to keyboard. But yeah, it just it's just how it is. But the floating one, however, can be accessed on pretty much any iPad and uh, this is how you can use it and operate it. Plus, uh, the similar things apply just like you have your iPhone keyboard so you can hold down on the space bar and move it around. Like, you, you can use uh, the swipe to, uh, to like, uh, type some words and pretty much all the things like you can get to emojis and switch, uh, switch keyboards and stuff. Yeah, all of the stuff can be done even on uh, the smaller keyboard. However, this big one has the advantage that you can swipe on it like you can see, you can get numbers swiping here and you pretty much have more options, but it just depends, of course. Yeah, this works in uh, the portrait as well as in uh, the landscape mode, as you can see right here. So this is how you can get rid of it. It's a feature and I think that it's pretty useful one, but you need to know how to use it, how to switch back and forth and yeah, hopefully I gave you the answer. By the way, if you are interested in changing the actual keyboard on your iPad, like downloading and installing some third party one and like switching back and forth in the, this sense, make sure to check out this video right here and you're going to find out all the info important information about it.